All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the next type of motion, which is an object at rest. So in this case, we're gonna be assuming that we're talking about a cheetah, and this cheetah is just happily just doing nothing but staying in one position. And if you recall back to the motion diagram, how we re could represent that is we locate the center of mass of the cheetah we indicate the frame number above it, but since it does not change its position, we can indicate it being a multiple seconds in time with the commas. So for four seconds, it's just there standing still. Then from the motion diagram, we can make the position time graph if we think back to inception. So what we do, we take our cheetah and its whole world, and we're going to rotate it. And we do this, so we're going to line up the vertical axis with the position of the object. And we're going to set the origin at the tree to be the zero position and draw our time axis from there. So the tree is very useful because it acts like the origin. Okay, so in order to make the position time graph, we're going to be seeing where the cheetah is for each given time that we're interested in. So for time zero, the cheetah is 1.5 meters away from the tree to the right. At one second time, the cheetah is still 1.5 meters away from the tree. So at two seconds, the cheetah is still 1.5 meters away from the tree. At three seconds, the cheetah is still 1.5 meters away from the tree. At four seconds, the cheetah is still 1.5 meters away from the tree. And like we did before, we want to represent this with a trend line by connecting the dots in a sense. So when we do that, we're going to see that this forms a horizontal linear relationship. So we can make a note by saying that a horizontal line in a position time graph shows an object at rest. Well, we can go further by looking back what we did. And let's say we want to calculate the slope. And recall that the slope of the position time graph is just the change in position over the change in time. But since it's not changing its position, it's going to be 0 divided by a change in time. And anything divided by 0 is still 0. And given that the slope of the position time graph is velocity, this means that the velocity of the cheetah is 0 meters per second which makes sense because it's not moving, so the velocity is going to be zero meters per second, which means that the cheetah is at rest. In the next video, I'm gonna show you the next two types of motion, so please hit subscribe, and then I'll see you in the next more complicated video.